You know, it's been a while since we've gone out there and really tooted the Cole Caulfield train. That sounds really bad. Why did I say that? Okay, I take that back. That was a terrible way to phrase the idea that we have not talked so much about Cole Caulfield the past little while. Actually, we did make a video a few days ago talking about his younger brother, not younger brother, excuse me, his older brother, Brock Caulfield, signing with the Toronto Marlies, but aside from that, it's been way too long since we've seen Cole Caulfield play hockey, and thus it's been way too long since we've actually talked about him here on the channel. So, what I wanted to do today was go over onto the Habs subreddit and talk about a stat that was brought up that really illuminates just how good Cole Caulfield really is. Now, I know you probably already know that from the title, from the thumbnail, it's all right there in front of your eyes, but what I wanted to do was just kind of go over his season last year, even though you could say there was kind of lack of a season because he only played half the games, and just talk about some of the numbers when it comes to goal scoring. Because Caulfield, as we've known over the past few years, has been a prime goal scorer. Ever since his NTDP days, his Wisconsin Badgers days, he has been goal scoring like crazy. And this also carried over into his NHL stints as well. He's played just over 100 NHL games, and in those 123 games, he's got 53 goals. His points per game is at .68, but the majority of those have not been assists. Heading over to the most previous season that Caulfield had, he had 36 points in 46 games played, 26 goals as well. He's been very much carrying this team when it comes to its on-ice goal-scoring impact. You could see that he is usually the trigger man when the team is down a goal late, they've got the goalie pulled, they're trying to tie things up, they're trying to get it to Caulfield. That game against the Philadelphia Flyers comes to mind. Absolute clutch right there. When it comes to the goal scorers that have been on the Canadiens, guys like Tyler Toffoli, guys like Josh Anderson, they've all succeeded with their great shooting ability. But Cole Caulfield has developed to the point where you could comfortably make the argument that he is better than all of these guys. He may be the most talented Canadiens goal scorer we've seen in decades. And if you want to go just based off of the numbers, there are some pretty good ones to back it up. As we had said, Caulfield had 26 goals in 46 games, and if you do the math on that, times it out by 82, that's on pace for about a 46-goal year. Now, the Habs have not had a 40-goal scorer since the early 90s. 93-94, Vincent Dampus was the last guy to get 40 goals, so that was 30 years ago? Yeah, it's been a while. Cole Caulfield being on pace for 46 is kind of nuts because the last guy to have gotten 46 goals, period, for the Canadiens, you gotta go back to the late 80s. Stéphane Richer had 50 goals back in 89-90, and that was the last time any Canadiens player has had 46 or more in a year. Now, I'm not gonna say that Cole Caulfield, had he played the full season, would have gotten up to 46 goals, guaranteed. Goal-scoring paces normally drop off as players get further into the season, it happens once in a while, and health definitely does play a part of it because being able to play 82 games in and of itself is a pretty good skill, that in which Cole Caulfield has not had the luxury of being able to exercise just yet. But this goals per game number is so good that if you go over to this post made on the Canadian subreddit, take a look at this posted by Jack Joe a few days ago. Fun fact, Cole Caulfield was 10th in goals per game in 2022-2023. He's also the youngest player in the top 10 at 22 years old. The second youngest is 25. That's Tage Thompson. If you go over to the NHL and you look at goals per game in 2022-2023, Cole Caulfield is right there, top 10. He's got a .57 with his 26 goals and 46 games played. And if you look at the guys who were above him, I mean, Alex Ovechkin is right there, McKinnon, Kaprizov, Thompson, Braden Point, Dreisaitl, Rontanen, Pasternak, and then Connor McDavid. Of course, the separation between Caulfield and McDavid is pretty vast, but the guys just right above him, Tage Thompson, Kaprizov, McKinnon, Ovechkin, they're all in the similar range there of 0.6 to 0.57 goals per game. And as this Reddit user pointed out, Caulfield's the youngest guy here, 22 years old. Second youngest, Tage Thompson, is three years older. So there definitely is a really good amount of potential here when you just take a look at who's scoring and how good a lot of these other players are. In fact, if you go over to the comments of this Reddit post, Mini C says that Caulfield was third in the league at goals per 60 at 5v5 with a minimum of 40 games played. 
Now, that's a lot of stipulations there, the 40 games, the per 60 minutes, the 5v5, but he's third. And if you go over to the NHL's website here, there are a few buttons you gotta click, but eventually you get yourselves this page. It's the scoring per 60, games played 40, goals per 60, 5v5 metric on the website. Caulfield is indeed third. He's behind only Pasternak and Jared McCann. Now, McCann has been a phenomenal player. He did all the things that he did in only 12 minutes of time on ice per games played in 79 games. Cole Caulfield had 13 minutes. Now, guys like Connor McDavid get a lot more. He's at 15, and a lot of these other players are producing as well. So you could see that Caulfield, just in terms of on ice, 5v5, scoring per 60, he is one of the best goal scorers. He does not need to be in the power play to be lethal. He's right up there with a bunch of other names, like Connor McDavid, who is fifth, or if you go further down, Braden Point, Miko Ronton, and Tage Thompson, Jack Hughes, Austin Matthews. Now, a lot of these guys get a lot of their production at the power play, which isn't a bad thing. It's just when it comes to 5v5, regular, just unsubstantiated hockey, Cole Caulfield is among the best in scoring goals in this capacity. And when you think about how a lot of these players, you know, they're good, right? Pasternak, Point, a lot of these players are good, but they really started to become this good at this point. A lot of these guys are putting up career years nowadays, and when you think about the direction the NHL is heading down, when you consider, all right, well, when these guys were Cole Caulfield's age at 22, sure, they were still good, but Caulfield is already doing what a lot of these guys are doing now at 22. So what more when Caulfield is 24 or 25, when he's playing in his prime and he's already had the benefit of having multiple seasons to grow and develop, maybe even get that first full season underway? He's making $7.8 million a year till the end of 2031. If he's able to go out there and have himself a, let's say, 46 goal year, because that's what he was on pace for. If he has 46 goals at 23 years old, that's a guy that I could really get behind giving this huge contract to. And I, like a lot of other Canadians fans, are super grateful to see Kent Hughes go out there and shell the bag out to this player. Because if he goes out there and lives up to that potential, he starts to get healthy, he plays a full 82, and he gets, let's just say, minimum 40 goals on a year. Then he does that year in and year out every season, 40, 40, 40, maybe 50, maybe even 55. If he does that and becomes the first Canadiens player in over 30 years to get not only 50 goals, but just 46 goals at that, if he becomes the first player in three decades to do that, then you're looking at the next generation of Canadiens hockey just poised and ready to follow through. This is including the Stanley Cup Finals experience that he already had. This is including the development and skills that he has exhibited over the past few years as well. Cole Caulfield is just going to get better from here. And when it comes to ceiling, I mean, back when he was drafted, I remember thinking that Caulfield maybe had a 45 to 50 goal ceiling just because we hadn't seen anybody score as many goals as he did as a junior player. But now, it's a few years down the line, and I'm saying, yeah, I don't really think that's all too unrealistic of a ceiling. Not that he's going to hit it for sure, it's just the ceiling is there. If he does max out to the best version of himself, he is right up there with the Thompsons and the Pasternaks and the Kaprizovs. Heck, he's already there now, even though he's only played 46 games and he's only 22 years old. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Cole Caulfield and how good this player really is. It's another one of these videos just going over some numbers that don't really amount to anything. It's all just conversation at the end of the day, but I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about this graph right here? The fact that Caulfield is a top 10 player in the NHL for goals per game, and he is one of the top players in goals per 60. How do you feel about this list? Him being the youngest guy on here, the second youngest being Tage Thompson, who's 25, so quite a ways away from Cole Caulfield in terms of age. When Caulfield's going to be 25, it's going to be what, 2020? 6, 2027 at that point? That's a ways away. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Rash Rolls 99. And bye.